Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to Banished. We're here in Geeksville again. And our population is growing quite nicely, actually. We've got 31 adults, 5 students getting educated, and 9 children living their uh, childish life, running around in the hills and beating up pigs and stuff. Yeah. So, overall, we're doing pretty nicely. I've gone ahead and made another hunting cabin down here, and I've made some houses for our guys. You can see we have our gatherers in here and our fishermen and our hunters, they're all living in this little area, and then moving all their goods up to our stockpiles that we have. Now, I made a slight derp between this and last episode, in that I completely forgot to save the game, so... <laughs> I had to quickly remake everything as quickly as possible, so I think the uh, trading post is a little bit uh, in a different position, but except for that, we've got most of the things. It also means that we no longer have the ugly sisters. <laughs> Luckily enough, they actually... Uh, everyone seems to be having a nice little family going on. Which is pretty nice. Even the expensive people, they're all doing their thing. They haven't got as many children this time. They're not spawning as much as they did, but I'm sure they will eventually. Now, one thing that I have noticed, and you'll generally find this with most of your banished experiences, is that there'll come a time in your uh, banished life, generally around ages 8 to 11, when a lot of your people will start dying. And this is because, you know, we started with a group of banished uh, sheep smugglers and... Now they're, uh, you know, they get into that age where, unfortunately, old age kicks in. So, we're going to have to start thinking about that, because we want to make sure that everyone's nice and happy, and there's a way of keeping everyone happy in your little banished town when uh, these tragedies take place, and that is by making yourself a cemetery. Yes, a cemetery is a place to put all of the uh, people underground so uh, they can be mourned. And it makes everyone happy because they've got a place to go and, you know, mourn the dead and stuff like that. So we do that by making a chapel, and then we can go and make a cemetery. Yeah, see, cemeteries are pretty cool. Now, chapels are fairly expensive because they need a lot, a lot of stone. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a bridge. It's going to go over here, and we're going to mine out all this stone. And then with the stone, we're going to make the chapel. And we're going to make the cemetery over this side. So it's away, but it's close to the houses, so if they want to go and... You know, they, they're having a bad day and they feel they want to go and mourn their father or something like that. They can go and do it, which is nice. You know, it's nice. So let's go ahead and build ourselves our bridge. And we'll build it coming over here, I think, that will lead over to here. And then once that's done, we'll start thinking about where we're going to put our cemetery. Now, if we was to make a chapel, I think the first place I want to put it is going to be around here somewhere. So they're going to come over their bridge and they'll make their way to the cemetery. They can go like around here somewhere. So if we put our uh, chapel here, I think it's a good place. There we go. We'll pause that. And then we have our cemetery along here. So the cemeteries are, uh, they cost quite a bit. So I believe it's one iron for every, or one stone for every unit of length. So if we had our chapel here, yeah. And we're going to want our cemetery a little bit along, aren't we? So if we put our cemetery here, there we go. And that's going to cost a lot of stone, but hey, it's fine. They deserve it. There we go. So they can start doing all their good stuff there. We'll wait for our builder to start making his uh, bridge. While he's doing that, let's go ahead and speed time up to uh, 10. And we can start doing this. Now, I have noticed, which is a really, really funky thing, is if any of you guys actually follow uh, the development of Banished, there is actually a Banished Mobs... Uh, banished Mobs? Banished Mobs! Banished Mod site now that you can go and visit. Apparently, there's going to be a mod tool that will be released soon, so the mods can start getting made and cool things can get added. There's a load of awesome concepts on there I've been looking at. There is a concept for beehives and keeping bees. That's really cool. You know, it goes really nice with the atmosphere of having a little quaint town. You can have your bees doing their thing. And I know people love bees. <laughs> so we can do that. Hey, we just got another labourer as well. Nice. I'm going to put that as a builder, I think, so it can help build all of the stuff around here. Now, we're going to want to probably clear out as much of this stone as we can because we're definitely going to need it so i think it's time to uh, clear all of this stone out or we'll grab as much as we can our builders will go and do that and all of these guys will do that as well i also made myself another woodcutter so we could keep up with the demand of wood because with the increase in people and homes it means we need more wood to be able to give them their nice burning hot fires of a winter's night so they can snuggle down with their, uh, with their, with their one cloth. <laughs> Man, we need some more of those. I even put that down here hoping that would sort out our hunting cabin. He's doing his thing, but I, we definitely need more cloth. Hey, it's a trader. Trader. Let's see what we've got. We've got chicken 
and cherry. Oh, he's a food merchant, so he doesn't really trade. He doesn't trade the stuff I really want. I want a, uh, I want a livestock trader or a, or a one that does seeds and stuff. But I guess we could treat our people to some cherries. What do you think? I think that's a thing. Let's treat our guys to some cherries. So that's going to cost me. It's going to cost me 333 to be able to do that. And how much stuff have we got? Well, we've got quite a lot of venison and herbs. Oh wow, that's really really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> How many can we get? Well, if we did 25 of that, that's going to give us 200. I guess we could trade 100 logs because we have a fairly decent amount of logs, so that's 300. Oh, we can do this. We can do this easily because we have so much fish as well. So we need 33 fish, and that will bring that up. I might actually bring the logs down to 50, and then we'll do the rest with fish. So we need what we need uh, 73 fish. Oh no, we need 83 fish. And that will give us the total that he demands. There we go. So now we can trade for cherries. Nice. They're not going to have any chickens yet because I want to wait until we have a chicken farm up for their own chickens. But we can dismiss him now and he can go on his merry way down the river, hopefully finding another little town and getting all the good stuff. Jeebus Christ, look how much stone we have and how much iron we have. This is amazing. And our bridge is done. So let's get our uh, chapel on the go. Now, this is quite the build. This is. This is not cheap. 130 stone. 50 logs. Wow. We need a lot. And we've got more laborers. I guess this is a job for our builders. Free builders doing their thing and getting this chapel made. How much stone have we got? We've got 107 stone. We need 130. So we do need more. I guess it might be worth getting this area built out as well. Yeah, let's do this. Actually, yeah, no, we'll do this. We'll grab that stone, and once this area is made, we'll then start work on our quarry. Yeah, that's gonna be too cool indeed. I might even throw another, uh, I might throw another person in our traders. I don't really need, I don't know, do we need another person in our traders there? I don't think we do. You know, they're getting the stuff. They're getting the stuff fast enough, and we've got like almost 7,000 food, so. We got a lot of food. <laughs> we got loads of food. More than I actually thought. Insane in the membrane. We're also going to want a road for this place, aren't we? So they can get to it nicely. So let's, <clears throat> let's bring this up around here. Like this. There we go. So a nice little road to take them in the front of the chapel. And that way they can make it to the cemetery as well. Yes, the reserve of our stone is low. Oh, Quentin the Builder has died of old age. <laughs> One of our builders just gave out while he was making our chapel. Insane. Well, at least we have another labourer to fulfil his dreams. Two out of four. And everything else seems okay, I think. Yes, we're doing good. Especially with our students. Six students isn't bad. They're all going to get educated and be very hard workers indeed. Yes, they're going to make me proud. A proud mayor of Geeksville. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> and how's our new hunting cabin doing? He's got 26 leather and a thousand thousand venison. That's insane. I guess that means, uh, how can you not have anything to do? I, I've got you so much, so much leather, yet you refuse to do work. Is there any leather in here? If there's leather in here, I'm going to hit the roof. Oh, maybe not. I guess just, just getting him really cold really quickly. Either that or he hasn't bought his leather up yet. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but once we've got our chapel built, I can then assign a priest. Yes, or a cleric to our chapel. And then that way they can hold their services and people will join the uh, chapel and our religion will start growing. Because religion in a small town is very important. It keeps people under check and makes sure that they are very, uh, you know, it's a social place, isn't it? When you don't really have many areas to go, you can't really hang around the, the trading post. You can't really herb with the herbalist. <laughs> You can't stand and look at your bridge, no. You'll go and gather at the chapel and have a nice few biscuits and a cup of tea. How does that sound? Even though we haven't got the means to make biscuits yet, we can we can have a pot of berries of some sort. I think that's good. There we go. Let's make another builder. Loads of builders. Free builders. Loving it. And we've got all the stuff we need. How much stone have we got? Because we're going to need more stone. We're still going to need more stone. Yeah, I think it's going to be worth mining all this. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Once this is built... And we've made ourselves the cemetery, which is going to cost, what's that, 54 stone. Huh, so we are going to need some more stone. I kind of like having those rocks there, though. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? Although this area is going to have to be removed. They're going to remove all the stone from here, so. Hmm. Yeah. All right, here we go. So let's give ourselves a cleric. 
Japan. We have 51 members of our uh, current covenant, and the next one is going to be our cemetery, which is going to get built. So let's turn that off, and we'll get our builders to start doing that. Yes, we even got another labourer during this uh, time, so I think we're going to make him a builder. Oh, look at these guys go! <laughs> They're just too good, loving it. So once we've got that all up and running. And we've got our uh, we've got a nice cemetery built for the guys to visit whenever they want to mourn the dead. We're then, I think, going to start working on getting some stone underway because we keep seeming to have issues with our amount of stone. And a good way to sort that out is by starting our quarry. Yes, and we can add some people to our quarry. And hopefully by that time, we would have had some good trades made. Oh, someone died. A, cl a cleric that we've only just put him in there. <laughs> He's only just... Wow, that's insane. All right, well, you can have another cleric. Have another one. Yes, once that's done, hopefully we would have got ourselves some livestock or possibly some seeds and fruits so we can start getting some areas made for that. Now, we do have to try and keep everything slightly close together because the overall goal is to put down one of these guys. We want a, a market. And a market basically stores everything. So it'll be a, a main place for everyone to visit to get all the goods that they need. And it's like basically like a giant barn, but, but better. And uh, you assign some people to work there. They keep it stocked up in it. It's a central focus point for a town that's growing. So at the minute, we have this area here. And we have this area here and over here. And we also have down here. So if we was to do this, the market would kind of be, I guess around here because we want it to like that would be a perfect place for a market to be honest so i might actually move the uh, the school at some point or we could have it here but that really doesn't hmm I, i'd really like that place there i might have to we might change that around at some point but that's a little while away we need to get some fruits and things growing first before we do anything there we go we got our graves done cool beans so we got graves We've got our chapel. We have people joining the uh, the chapel, and they're all they're having fun. I wonder if that road's actually connecting to that. I don't think it is. No, it's not, is it? All right, well, we'll do this. kind of want roads all the way around it so they can get in there easier because they kind of like to come from weird routes. We'll do that. Yeah, and then they can build that. Sounds good to me. Cool beans. And we've got 13 children, so we definitely don't need any more houses at the minute because they're going to all be doing their thing. Alright, so let's get a go with our quarry. I think this is going to be a thing. So we'll turn you on. There we go. And we have another two labourers. We've just got an insane amount of labourers. It's so good. We're going to need a load of iron for this and a load of logs. We've got 17 iron, so we're going to need iron as well. So let's go find some iron around the map that we can go and quarry out. That's all stone. Iron. Give me iron. 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 Uh, wow, there really isn't much iron around here, is there? Huh. Well, there's a, there's a huge patch down here, but that's such a walk. Well, I guess we haven't got a choice. Collect. Collect iron, young ones. Make me prosperous. There we go. It's going to be more than enough iron. Saying that, though, we have got a lot of people that aren't doing stuff. So our blacksmith generally is uh, up to date with his tools. And, uh, and our, well, our tailor's never up to date. Oh, it's a tricky stat. Stop. 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 Yes! What have we got? Walnuts and eggs. Jesus, I don't need any more food. <laughs> we don't need food. Well, I guess they can have some walnuts or eggs. Yeah, I refuse to give them anything that's produced by a chicken for the time being. But they can always have some walnuts. You know, I'm feeling nice. So how many How many is that going to be? So if we gave them 25 tools, it's going to reach 200. And I guess the rest could be logs because we have loads of logs, don't we? So what's that? It's going to be... Actually, no. No, we'll go with fish because we have almost 10,000 food. So, yeah, we'll do that. So if we gave him... What's that? We need 133. And that will do that. There we go. Cool. And you can be on your way, young trader. Nice. Cool beans. So we'll go and restock our trading post with more good stuff. Now, one thing that you can do is you can actually order certain things when there's a trader there. But the problem with orders... Uh, they're fairly expensive, so if you order something, generally expect a, a two to three. Look at him going on his way. <laughs> generally expect a markup of around two to three on the price, because you're then ordering something, aren't you? The trader has to make a few trips to get the goods, and that's uh, definitely something 
that. You know, if you've got a lot of stuff, you can be doing that, but it's fun to leave it and just see how that works out. Oh, there's a little bit of iron there. Oh, there's iron around here as well. Oh, how did we miss it? All right, grab the iron. Take the iron, young ones, and use it wisely. How are we doing here? Oh, we're not doing too bad. You know, our town's coming along really nicely. It's probably one of the better playthroughs that I've had so far. Yeah, seeing as we started on hard and we've started with no stuff, you know, we haven't got, we didn't have any seeds, we didn't have any livestock, we've actually done fairly well. Yeah, we've got loads of food, loads of good stuff. And once we've got this up and running, and we've got another one for iron and coal, that's going to sort out loads of our fuel problems, and it's going to start out, it's going to sort out our iron problem. Once that's done, I think the next thing really is to start expanding. Oh, one of our foresters died. At least Gabriana has replaced him as a forester. Hey, good stuff. <laughs> oh, we could even do... We See, we could even do more logs, couldn't we? So let's up the log limit even more, because you can never have enough, enough logs. I think a very good thing to do is, once you kind of hit a limit on something, um, have a look around. So, our uh, blacksmith needs iron and logs. Well, we could supply a quadrillion logs, that's not a problem. But, we are a little bit low on iron, so currently upping the tool limit on that isn't really going to be a good idea. But once we have a area constructing iron and coal, then probably we're going to have enough uh, iron to be able to supply our blacksmith with more tools, so we can then up the tool limit. And more than likely any other tools that we get I'm going to throw into the trading post for trading. Yeah, I think that'll be a thing. How are we doing? We must almost be there. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, we'll supply one there. We'll take down our builders by two. And we're going to have... we have three stonemasons working in our quarry. Now, they're going to need a place as well to throw their goods, aren't they? So, we'll grab our stockpile. And we'll say, guys, make stock of that pile. There we go. Hey, hey. And they're going to start doing their thing. Love it. And we've still got two builders left for getting on with any other good stuff that we're going to need. That's also going to include our uh, getting our uh, iron and things together as well that we're going to have to start doing, you know, fairly soon. But at least we've got our stone on the way. And I think I might limit that down. I think the max I'd ever put in there is probably 10. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be that for this episode, I believe. We've gone ahead and we've made our first chapel. We have 54 disciples of the religion of Lewis. <laughs> and we have our cemetery with a grave. Where's the, oh, there it is. See, starting to fill up. Means they can come and, uh, you know, pay their respects, which is nice. I'm liking this. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be that for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, I urge you to subscribe for some more awesome content. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one. And goodbye.